post covid what is the scenario of stock lot paper and finished paper it's a very uh, it's a very wide question because there's stock lot in europe there's stock lot in india there's um, stock lot in and there's prime in india prime in around the world so really um, i mean it's uh, i can talk about one at a time if that's okay so in the uk um, there there's um, the prices are increasing uh, there's a problems of um, of course because of the war we've got problems because of um, inflation we've got problems because of bulk prices increasing and we obviously have high container prices as well plus the the weaker gbp pound um, so all of these things is putting pressure on the economy pressure on the market um, at this moment in time demand is high um, prices i think will continue to remain high but when it will collapse or when it will fall nobody knows um, but my prediction i think is going to be sometime in the next few months we'll see a softening of the market um, capacity will come back into the market um, on the stock side um, we're not really doing much stocks but um, again i am seeing something very similar to that only considering india as a big market of the paper how does pg paper focus itself to have more market share so again there's two parts to that answer um, to, to, to to that question um, the um, part one of it is um, our company is primarily focused on buying from india this moment in time um, there are many opportunities around the world and then buying from india the quality of the product in india and in indian market the the many of the the the, the uh, mills in india are producing top quality paper which is competitive um, with american grades with chinese grades with japanese grades um, and with european Great. So, um, from that perspective, um, we we are seeing a huge opportunity on that side of it. Selling to the into the Indian market um, again, prices are very high in India. However, the availability in Europe, America, Australia, Japan, China is limited. Um, there is, of course, the, um, supply opportunities in China, but um, our our because of where container prices are, it's very difficult to do anything from China at this moment in time. At least, uh, not very difficult. It's 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 not. Uh, um difficult but it's this the challenge is container prices as pg paper represents various global paper brands please share which brand and what quality of the paper does pg paper sell in india we are we are working with so many um, brands across europe um, and and across um, japan and then further afield um, in partnership with local um, local partnerships in, in india as well to mention one would be unfair but um, i think we, uh, most people know the brands that we're working with in japan and in europe yeah nowadays there is a golden time for indian paper industry many new projects are coming up to meet the growing demand of the paper in 2018 we had an interview with miss punam gupta of pg paper at that time she said that pg paper was actively looking for old paper mill or a joint venture for paper manufacturing purpose so the idea to come up in the manufacturing is still active now very much so we are we are looking to still um, we've expanded quite dramatically over the last few years um, we have seven new offices ar around the world we have huge ambitions of um, expanding in india we do have partnerships um, loose uh, partnerships with with um, family um, own companies across india but um, the, there's a huge opportunity just now for vertical integration still um, the the buying the buying um, across india just now has been uh, Um, the, the market in across India just now has been absolutely amazing. Um, we are working very closely with a number of mills, and we can see the opportunity for vertical integration. Yeah. Any date by which you will be ready? I wouldn't want to commit to it, uh, but I would certainly think in the next couple of years, next two years, we 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 should be doing something um, in vertical integration. Post COVID and Russia-Ukraine war has led the world in logistic constraints. it has become difficult for the paper exporter to export the paper because of higher logistic cost and higher logistic cost had made them non competitive at many buying market you as pg paper is sitting in uk how the situation is advantageous for the pg paper 
It's um, it's one of the factors. Shipping is definitely shipping is definitely one of the factors. Um, I would say in, in the exchange rate, where the exchange rate is, is one factor. Exchange um, the container prices is a huge factor. I don't think we have an advantage over anyone else. Um, um, or against uh, an advantage over any other Indian manufacturer. What I would definitely definitely say is is that um, being um, present in up to 60 countries, having offices in seven different countries in the world, it gives us a lot of versatility. So if exchange rates are weaker or poorer in a different a particular country, or if shipping rates are weaker or poorer in a particular country, we can um, adjust where we're buying, where we're selling um, accordingly. So I mean, that's a huge advantage for us um, for, for sure. Any new paper product you have launched in this expo? No, we haven't launched any new uh, paper products. We our, our recent uh, most um, adventure has been uh, opening a new office in Dubai. Um, we are serving the, the sort of the Indian subcontinent, um, Pakistan, Bangladesh, um, Sri Lanka, India, but also North Africa from that from that territory. So we are very pleased with how business is going there so far. Nowadays, Indian paper mills are giving at par competition to the European and American companies. Do you think there is still a quality difference between two papers? How do you see this? So this is a huge opportunity for Indian paper mills, um, better than it's ever been from an export perspective. The supply demand imbalance has created this opportunity um, and I guess the opportunity here for Indian mills is to capitalize upon it. See that um, at this moment in time that there's a huge opportunity to export. I'm, uh, I, I would say it, my, my honest opinion is that the Indian paper mills, there are some which are producing very comparable um, grades to Europe. Um, there are also some which is, is it's just slightly um, weaker but the, the opportunity here is trying a new product which they are doing um, the, because of demand and based on trying it they're actually beginning to realize that the Indian quality while it might not be a hundred percent it is very workable and of decent quality so it might be 95 percent or 98 percent of course there are some mills that are producing a hundred percent completely matching European quality um, and there are some that are sitting at 90 percent but that's with, with, with all all in all, the quality has been very, very good. Um, it has been accepted um, ac across Europe, across America. So, a huge opportunities for Indian mills going forward. What major differentiation do you see in two kind of papers, which are made of wood and agro residue? I think I, I think um, um, I think the world is moving in such a way that um, moving to agro sustainable um, sources um, and, and actually the story um, that some of these mills have is quite incredible um, and actually um, ironically you're seeing some European mills copying the Indian model um, without naming any names there's been at least two or three that I'm aware of that have copied the Indian model of using some natural resources um, and, and it's, it's been fantastic to see. As the ban in China continues, so to meet the paper requirement, many big paper mills of China are setting up their paper recycling plants in Europe. Considering this, what change in marketing dynamics do you analyze in coming time? It's a, it's a very good question. You, you, we're beginning to see how um, the Chinese uh, mills, Chinese um, uh, nation is is um, taking over, capturing um, and investing heavily um, on um, recycling, but not only that, in infrastructure, um, in ports, in Africa, um, and so on and so on. So, we, um, I, I mean, the, the, this is not something that one mill can do. It's um, working as a nation um, under the leadership, I guess, of PM Modi um, and making India strong, which he is doing. Um, we are a powerful nation. We are perceived as a powerful nation across the, the globe. Um, we are respected as a powerful nation across the globe. Um, we are, I would say, in fairness, behind China at this moment in time, but we have to work in collaboration. Um, and only then, with time, um, we, we will continue to progress. You are working which paper mills? Please share. Again, it will be a little bit unfair to uh, mention one mill. We are working with about 14 or 15 different mills um, um, across all grades, so wood free uncoated. Um, and we are working with a lot of the duplex mills. We are working with a lot of the, um, the copy paper mills. Um, I think that's probably... Um, um, but I mean, the, 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 they're, they're all been fantastic. SBS, FBA, FBB, high grade, high quality, and, and, and a pleasure to work with these mills. Many Indian paper mills have increased the price of writing printing paper because of there is an increase in imported pulp prices. 
what price of writing printing paper do you anticipate for next six months will the price go up further I think we're at a very interesting um, point. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm of the belief that the, the market is going to adjust um, because of all of the, 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 the pressures we've talked about. Container prices, um, I think there's a, um, the, the, the worldwide economy is, a, is in a very interesting position at this moment in time. Um, for all the things that I've said previously, so seeing seeing what's happening with inflation, seeing what's happening with fuel prices, seeing what's happening with energy costs across the world, I think there's going to be pressure on the on the Western world, um, and which will Im ultimately impact on the Chinese market, ultimately impact on the Indian market. So that's um, I think the prices are just now a little bit high. Will continue to be high for a few months, but I think there will be a turning point towards the end of the year where where things will change. Any message you want to give? to the Indian paper consumers. These are tough times um, for, for everybody, but if, um, wherever there's a tough time, there's a huge opportunity. So um, I think it's, a, it's an opportunity um, to, to um, try Indian products um, and, 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 and the quality in India is fantastic. So uh, I'm very pleased that we're part of PaperX. We're very pleased that we're part of um, uh, an incredible story. Um, being of Indian origin, um, although I'm born in Britain, um, it gives me immense um, pride to say I'm Indian and we're working with Indian mills and, and, and we're doing so well across, uh, across India.